Good evening. I am here. It is 12.48 a.m. and I am here. Um, you'll notice I didn't stream the last two nights. Two nights, specifically. Tuesday I did stream uh, during the day, if you missed it. Uh, it is all on YouTube at this point. I did the N Nintendo Direct reaction, then I played uh, this game for 5 hours, 22 minutes, and 52 seconds. Um, <laughs> it's late, and I actually have to be up earlier tomorrow for personal reasons, which I'm not going to go into right now. So this might not be a long one. I'm also... Excuse me. Oof. I also uh, have it on good authority that uh, just beating the game will not get me the true ending. So there may be... Um, there may be, even if I beat this tonight, I may not be getting the true ending, and I might have to come back to it and finish it later. Um, it's a bit weird, like, this game's a bit weird because unlike the first Freedom Planet, all the unlocks are not, like, universal. Everything's tied to each file. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, the Lilac playthrough will be, like, the main one, and then... I'll just go through the story with the other three characters, and probably get the true ending with all of them. Because apparently, the, again, the true ending is locked behind something, but I don't know if I can do that tonight. I also don't know how long the stream's gonna be. I don't anticipate doing a full three hours, because that'll take me to 3.50, and I need to be done before then. So, two, two and a half hours probably is gonna be what I'm aiming for tonight. So I wanna waste, I wanna stop wasting time and... Oh, I'm not clicked into the screen. Whoops. There we go. Hey, Celine. Hey, yeah, I mean, Kitty of Justice, yes. Uh, there's no shopping here, okay. Alright, so, um... A lot of stuff has happened. <laughs> Recapping it all would take time. Uh, a blue, a blue dra or water dragon has been unsealed from her prison and essentially has wreaked, wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. Havoc on, uh, the main, uh, capital. And now we're going to Perusa to hopefully figure out how to stop her. I don't know what the exclamation point- I guess that just means next level. We'll handle it from here, Mayor. You may continue on your way. He's not coming with us? Oh, I get it. We need to keep a low profile. Zao and his airship would be way too conspicuous. Eh, wrong! I'm just way too awesome for this mission. Or that, sure. Well, I'm off to find my champion. Toodles! We'll call you if we need a ride. Watch out for roaming bees! Bye, Mayor Zell. Keep on battlespearing! Cool, 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 cool. No items right now. Like the voice direction in this. Champions and assholes. <laughs> the, the game actually got patched yesterday. Uh, some stuff has been fixed in it. I don't know what exactly, but it's nothing super major, mega. Look, I remember the guard button exists. Whoa! Nice. So yeah, um... Life's been a little weird. Thought this was a GBA game for a moment. Nope. It does kind of have, like, GBA era graphics. It's a little cleaner than that, though. I would say. So things have been... Things have been a little weird the last few days. Uh, obviously as you would know if you were here on Tuesday. Oh, that's not just floating in the air. If you were here Tuesday during the day, you know that I took off work. Uh, I wasn't feeling too great in the head. They made the character designs less Sonic-y. Awesome, yeah. You, you weren't here Tuesday? I thought you saw this. Yeah, they redid the art style. I was a little worried it would be a bit more, a bit too serious, and like they would have redone the direction, but the, thankfully the game's tone is still pretty, oh, accurate. looking for secrets. Cyclone! 
Oh, shouldn't bother. I'm gonna probably go back and just do all that on my own later. It doesn't seem like there's any secret routes or anything. But apparently, uh... Again, apparently there's there's something regarding the ending. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what's up with my uh, my voice. It's a little a little messy. Uh, but yeah, so I took off I took off Tuesday and I streamed a bunch, which. Partially was done because I was like, oh, hey, the game's coming out today, and there's a Nintendo Direct. I should just, um, I should just, you know, stream all day. But, uh, also, it was because I didn't have a good day Monday. Um, I wasn't feeling great during work, uh, mentally. And I kind of had some, I kind of got, got set off a little bit. Uh, I don't take it out on other people. It was just mostly, like, me being, like, pissy and sad, and it's just, it happens too often. And the truth is, Tuesday night, I was gonna come back and stream more, but, um, I just kinda, you know, I kinda did, I kinda had a bad brain day, like I've said multiple times. And then last night, I kinda rushed to get everything, uh, I kinda rushed to get everything I, I wanted to do Tuesday night instead done. So that's why I haven't streamed since uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, but uh, tomorrow, I said I wasn't gonna get into this. <laughs> but I guess I should mention it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna hopefully uh, take a step or two towards maybe fixing stuff regarding how I feel. As much as I would like that to mean quitting my job, it doesn't mean that, unfortunately. But um, we'll see. We'll see how things turn out tomorrow. But yeah, that's mostly just the excuse I'm giving as to why I can't stream too late tonight. But I was also, and the, I just started late too, like I always do, mostly because I just had laundry to do. I didn't want to do it tomorrow. Why'd I do that? The way the life system works in this game is interesting, but I'm not sure I enjoy it that much. I mean, it is, it is, I guess in a way it's better. But it also makes it way more frustrating. Hey. Didn't I already have that? Doesn't tell you. We had a Capcom TGS presentation today, and, uh, good, ooh, nice, I needed those. We got, we got some good shit coming out of Capcom, let me tell you. I know that their output hasn't been as, as frequent as it's been in previous years, but what they're putting out now, like, everything is just so good, so refined, every frame so dense. Um... What did they show off? They showed off the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak update, which is like, okay. I mean, they, they, 
that's pretty much their staple now. Every time they make any sort of appearance, they gotta talk about Sunbreak or Monster Hunter Rise for at least a brief moment. Damn. Gonna come back here to farm treasure later. It looks cool. Like, again, I haven't bought the Sunbreak DLC. I have Base Rise, and I've played it for about 30 hours, but... As much as I want to get into Monster Hunter, I just don't have the time. Otherwise, I'll never play anything else. I thought I was almost close to the end of this game at the end of my stream the other day. And it turns out I'm nowhere near it. I've missed health. Hold on. Nope. It's not sure how to feel about Street Fighter 6 now that they announced their Xenoverse kind of deal. M MMO. Yeah, I know. Uh, to be honest, that's that's pulling me in. I, I That completely appealed to me. I was going to get to that in a bit. Oh, this is auto running. Cool. I don't have to... Uh... Psych! Alexander Clamshell. Oh, it's firing missiles from down there. I wish the camera would pan down a little more. So yeah, Monster Hunter Rise looks good. They're doing the variant monsters like Monster Hunter World got. Which is cool if you if you just want more monsters to hunt, which is the whole point of the game. So good on Capcom. I'm just glad like the game they didn't like. Oh well, Monster Hunter World was a bigger, more expansive game. I'm glad they're kind of uh, showing Rise all of the love now. Oh, I can't stay at the edge of the screen for that. slide. <laughs> Yeah, Monster Hunter looks good. I mean, I have it. <laughs> I've played it. Of course it's good. Um, then they showed off... What did they show off after that? Resident Evil. They showed off the uh, Winter's Expansion for Village. Um, I have not played any of the, the, the RE remakes yet. Um, but they all look great. They're all coming to Switch, and as I mentioned on the other day, they're all cloud versions. Or as it was... When it was revealed on the Direct, I was like, don't even get your hopes up. These are absolutely going to be cloud versions. <laughs> Capcom can't really do anything about it. I mean, 
It's a different story for Kingdom Hearts, where they could absolutely fit any of those games outside of 3 on the Switch natively. But, uh... Resident Evil... Resident Evil 1... The, the, re the remakes definitely couldn't. They, they, they're a little too much for the Switch. They would definitely be... Uh, a step above what it could do. So whatever, they're they're making do with what they can. What they they're gonna they're gonna get all the content on there, which is great, I guess. If you have no other way to play it, Village looks fun. At some point, maybe I'll play the Resident Evil remakes. I don't know. I've never even played one remake from back in the day. Uh, they announced that Resident Evil Four remake will be current and last gen, which makes sense because um, because no one can find a fucking PS Five right now, so. By only releasing on the PS5, it's going to sell like shit, because no one's going to be able to buy it. The only things I'm really hyped for this not Eat Media Blitz with the Yakuza spinoff set in 1867. Yes, Ryoma Sakamoto uh, spinoff of Yakuza, which is it's like a Dragon Ishin. The thing is, though, that's actually not a new game. That was released in Japan, I think, like, four or five years ago. It's apparently like a modern port that's coming over to America. Crisis Core remake that's dropping less than a week before your birthday. Yes, that's coming to Switch as well. It's not a cloud version, so I'm very interested in that. It's gonna have the the, the remake voice cast in it, so we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a new version of me, Gungaga, and I can't wait to hear it. I'm getting a signal, Carol. I don't know. Carol. It's all fuzzy. About time you ladies picked up. What the spade? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, it's Sean. <laughs> How did you access our channel? I'd prefer to tell you in person. Meet me in the basement at Goldie's. Can't miss it. I know. I know. Ishin's are masterpiece. Good miss one. You could play that. Need an import? Yeah. Again, the buttons. The button thing is weird. Is that actually fixed now? Because they didn't. They they did the patch. Nope. This is Icon Nintendo, and it's still just saying Axis. <laughs> Kamusta, welcome to Palooza, former home of the ancient warmongering race known as the Water Dragons. War! Have no fear. Palooza is now a proper civilization, and the Water Dragons are all gone. Except for me. I alone am the grim specter of those dark times. War! Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Goldies. It does look nice. There's gonna be like an actual y Yakuza game as well, right? Mom says I could be anything I want when I grow up. I want to be a caterpillar. I've been practicing too. <laughs> Ta-da! Yakuza 8. I know people joke about like Nintendo 64 games being like, oh, it's the 64th game in the series. I, I am very scared that Yakuza 64 will be a legitimate thing before uh, bef before you know our lives our lives are over <laughs> given how quickly Sega pumps those games out I'm a bit of an amateur vic vi vi I'm a bit of an amateur volcanolot volcano volcanolot volcanologist there we go I'm a bit of an amateur volcanologist so I'm here on a field trip to see the volcanoes firsthand also maybe add a few more rocks to my collection never collected them personally before so this should be fun Which ads are weird. Yeah, they are. Hey, Ephraim. Well, that was a weird jump. Did you see that? It like, took me to the right. That shark reminded me there's a free VTuber version of Vampire Survivors out there. See, I think you were talking about Vampire Saviors. Or Savior, the, the Darkstalker sequel. Which is on Switch, by the way. Oh, it's actually on all platforms. It's in the fa Fatcom? Wow. <laughs> Capcom Fighting Collection. It had the world as a vampire in it, so I thought it was the Masquerade, but it's Fallout. It's weird. Why, why are vampires suddenly coming up on Moss here? I guess it is almost Halloween. Been a while. Figured I uh, figured I. Oh, bleh. no! Vampires survivors is 3D. Yeah, it's the bullet hell game. Been a while. Figured I'd am scrape from the Shang 2 stuff until things calm down. That Murga is real fishy. If you find any more vinyl down here, I can play them for you again. Brought the old ones with me too. Yeah, no, we're good. I'm missing so many. Hey, is again. Hey, again. Uh, okay, can't go in there. 
It's faded, but the inscription says the Moonflower of Peace. She's gorgeous. I feel like I've seen her before. Nothing but feet left. Poor guy. Who stood here, I wonder? What do they do? Volcano? You mean the Vulcan? Eh, when it blows, it blows. We're used to it. Bad stuff always happens around here. It's Perusa's curse. Ugh. Kumusta! If this is your first visit to Perusa, then you're in for a treat. The Vulcan are active! I recommend you take an aerial island tour on the Siguada, but Captain Corazon seems oddly busy this time of year. Nothing. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, they, the update... Uh, the update now prioritizes examinations and entering doors over talking to people. Kamusta, be careful when entering our forests. The monsters there are controlled by dark spirits called Teeks. Mind you, the most dangerous things in the forest right now appear to be robots, and they're scaring away all the game. No connection to Toho. The game is a heavy Castlevania aesthetic and has you in control of how you move. Weapons fire, yeah. Was it this game a Kickstarter? Because I'm seeing a ton of OCs. Yes, this game... No, uh, actually, I don't know if this game was a Kickstarter. I know um the first game was probably a Kickstarter, but... Nothing but boxes inside. Maybe somebody just moved in? Did they go tick-tock, tick-tock? <laughs> Looking for a fresh new jam? Got all the latest albums. I'm the only shop in the Adventure Square that accepts Crystal Shards as payment. I'll go do our part to clean up the environment. Oh. Final map, Shang 2, Ma Blue, Ba Boo, Ba Ba Doo, Ba Boop, Ba Boop, Fuck You. So yeah, they sell ones that you could just get. I wonder if you could just. I wonder if you have to actually, like, buy these. Maybe you just find them all in stages. Okay. Did you know the broadsword's the most powerful weapon in its weight class? Pound for pound, the sheer power of broadswords is unmatched. Adventure Square. The update reminds me of the long overdue tweak to River City Girls. Whether you could accidentally transition to a screen when you just meant to string together your combo. Ugh. What platform am I getting the BN collection on? Switch. Without a doubt, Switch. So yeah, that's that was the next thing I was going to get to. Because we, we just finished talking about Resident Evil and uh, Monster Hunter. Oh, this is just a gold gem exchange. Uh, I'm not going to get anything just yet. This area is really freaking big. Everyone's always moving so fast all the time. I like to stop and smell the roses. Gotta take it easy. That's my motto. Going too fast is no good. Oh, of course. Celebrity person. That's supposed to be Sonic. Only their name is Sonny. Amelia. Oh, Amy. I had a heckin' fine salad earlier. Those saucy leaves didn't stand a chance. I get weird looks for eating my food with a mallet, but do you know how much your teeth get worn down from chewing? A lot of people think I'm being clingy towards Sonny. Of course I am. I'm his wife. Concern I'm at to pay for Switch Online to fight and trade people. Yeah. That's kind of the rub there. If you want it portably, you're going to have to, uh, and you don't have a Steam Deck. The big di- Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to get to that, actually. I'm going to get to that right now. Thought they were going for Animal Crossing. Nope, that's supposed to be Sonic and Amy. I didn't even know that. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Um... <laughs> Why does it- I hate how it gets really quiet. I hate how it just stops the music when you pause the game. How much bigger is- okay, we're at the edge. Whoa. These are my twins, Grabby and Throwin. Best stay on their good side, and they may give you an impromptu flying lesson. Nah, I'm just joshing you. You seem nice enough. He's a hero around here. He's the first fighter from Perusa to become a Battle Sphere champion. That's not really my thing, to be honest. The ocean is where I'm meant to be. A little seizure. Oh, I'm hungry. Time for a trip to my Ube garden. Ube! Gonna get myself some Ube! Axis 10. Yeah, no. Okay, so I have my pro controller set here. And for some reason, it doesn't recognize up and down and left and right as just up and down and left and right. It thinks it's a, it thinks it's a stick axis, even though I'm using the D-pad. It's really weird. Also, I have the button set to Nintendo, and there's just nothing for it. Nintendo, Microsoft... And stand are all the same. The only one's different is Sony, so it doesn't matter. It's really weird. Oh, there's someone up there. Oh, it's that. It's Chloe. Chloe's happy to confirm her store doesn't carry durians. She did one time though. It was a dark day for Chloe. Press guard to create. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. 
I think they sell them for different prices. What was that? Hold on, how do I get out of here? Oh. No, bird! I want to talk to you, where'd you go? No! Stop going where people are! Mom keeps telling me I should get married. She's like, we gotta save our species, and we're endangered! And I'm like, I'm studying. I don't have time to build a nest. What do you mean, what am I studying? Lots of things. I want to keep my career options open. And there she go. Okay, so... So... Uh, after Resident Evil, they did Exo Primal, which is a new game. I have no interest in it. It's, it's space... It's Apparently, it's like Space Monster Hunter, or it's like Space... It's like you're carrying, you're, you're doing cargo runs with the monsters or something. I don't quite understand how it works. Also, I think there's someone hiding behind that the corner over there. Um, it does look nice, but like again, it's I, I can't get into another series right now. I have too much to worry about. And then uh, they moved on to Battle Network Collection for all of four minutes. Um, but what they revealed was pretty damn cool. Uh, the big important announcement is that all, all game, all six or technically ten games on it are gonna have um online play which includes chip trading and battling so essentially all the network functions are going to be in the game uh and usable over the internet the big downside is that the official website afterwards noted that there is no cross player cross saves so it, it's in, in this day and age it's kind of weird for this but it's going to be system locked uh so pc ps4 and switch owners will not be able to play with each other, which kind of sucks. I have no doubt that the Switch version's probably going to be... The Switch and the PC version are probably going to be the go-tos. Um, yeah, it does stink. This, I, I feel like the Switch the Switch version is going to probably be the go-to platform just because they're portable games, they're, it's a collection, people are going to want to play that on the go, and you could just battle over the internet. Um, but, I mean, it does make it a little harder because then you have to have the Nintendo Online to play on it. At least that's what I think. Obviously, this game's still a while away, so we don't know yet. So, kind of a double-edged sword. The fact that we're getting online play at all in it is, is something. At least, it's very clear Capcom's gonna put more effort into this collection than they did some of the other ones. Um, which is also shown by the other big update they show, they had for it. So, when, you're when you load up the game, and whenever you go back to the main menu from the game that you're playing... Uh, the menu is actually supposed to, like, emulate a real PET, and you actually have a 3D model of Mega Man uh, who, will, who will talk to you and tell you, and apparently commentate on, like, how you're doing. Like, if you load up the, uh, that idle animation makes you want to play a Shantae game, yeah. Hey, Ryoko. So apparently if you go back to the menu while you're playing, like, a Battle Network game, Mega Man EXE will actually, like, comment on what you're doing. And, like, when you load up and quit a game, he'll, he'll say some stuff, too, and he'll, like, help you, na he'll, quote-unquote, help you navigate the menus and stuff, which is really cool. Um, and what's even cooler is that they actually got the, uh, yeah, they got the same voice actor who voiced Mega Man and NT Warrior and Double Team DS, which I didn't know was the case, it was the same person, to come back and do his voice. So, some people are unhappy about that. I know Ash Paulson was a little, a little eh, because that guy voices... Mega Man like a like a surfer dude. <laughs> hey Lan, what's up? It's me, Mega Man. Oh, damn it. That, that load zone's very uh very touchy. So yeah, it's cool that they got him back. I personally don't mind the voice. There is a way to turn it off. I know there's there's a silent mode button right in the main menu, so there it is. And you know, I'm I'm happy for it. They're they're showing this collection more love than I thought they would. You want the Colonel actor, to be honest. That'd be so cool if you could get all of the... It, as much as I know as expensive as that would be to get all those people back to do the voices, how cool would it be to get, like, all the navvies from, like, 4.5 in there? These meticulously carved panels show the history of Perusa, from the Earth Dragon's first encounter with the Water Dragon tribes to the subsequent enlightening of the tribes, the Earth Dragon's bringing gifts of advanced technology and civilization to the Water Dragon's and finally to the Water Dragon's cruel betrayal, resulting in the extermination of all Water Dragon kind for the good of the world. Guar. 
What species is the main character? Lilac is a water dragon. So is it the same for everything there, I guess? Oh, she's everywhere. <gasps> Pay no attention to the museum employee clinging for dear life outside. These information kiosks are completely automated with pre-recorded narration and are definitely not broken. <laughs> bang bang, welcome to our recently installed information dispersal experimental experiment. <laughs> welcome to our recently installed information dispersal ex experiment. Oh, that's oh experiential. There we go. Experiential audio kiosks, aka idea. Learn about the history and culture of the water dragons and their many achievements. Hear these stories and more through the technology of IDEA. IDEA, sponsored by Redacted. Long before the water dragons came to settle the land, their civilization spanned the seafloor of this world. They were made up of clans of different sea-dwelling races and separated by language and culture. But over time, this disparate communities, these disparate communities came together to s in the spirit of harmony and cooperation from the people we refer to as Water Dragon. I don't know why my, my, my dictation's all over the place right now. I did auditions last night, and I think they sound really good, so... Here we go. Andrew Francis was also Shining Armor's voice actor in My Little Pony, really? Ruby Spears, and fun enough, Ruby Spear Mega Man's voice actor Ian James Cormack is the father of Sweetie Belle's VA. Oh, wow. That's racist, yeah. Then another super fighting pony. Uh, we got more here. Biotechnology. Perhaps due to their biodiversity or the adaptability of their bodies, the water dragons were naturally gifted in the field of biotechnology. From tweaking physical traits to specialized genetic enhancements that allowed them to live on land, everything was possible with their science. However, in order to receive the Earth Dragon's gifts, the water dragons bound themselves to physical homogeneity. 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 Homog homo whatever. Putting an end to their wild experimentation. The Water Dragons venerated the passage and phases of the moon, worshipping our natural satellite in the night sky. Blue Moon, Blood Moon, Super Moon, Eclipse, and Lilith were observed as major calendar events. Exact cultural practices vary, but Lilith Moon in particular was celebrated as a night for sweethearts and lovers. Rawr. Bakunawa. A massive joint venture between the Earth Dragons and Water Dragons, the Bakunawa, was a spacefaring arc ship designed to sail the stars. A key feature was the experimental planet cracker beam, capable of breaking apart ma information deleted, capable of breaking apart matter and harvesting their materials to power and repair the ship. Sadly, construction was halted and abandoned entirely in the wake of the Water Dragon War, a significant blow to the advancement of space travel. And that's everything from there. Humana, 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 hoon. Don't rush it or you're just gonna end up biting your tongue, yeah. Look at that, I can stand up over here. So stand up. Join us. Whoa. Digimon Survive got a patch. It did? Maybe it makes it less uh, less slow and sloggy. Uh, speaking of, that's gonna be tomorrow night's stream. I will bring back Digimon Survive. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's really super slow. I shouldn't be streaming it. But I, I think that I, I, I'm gonna at least stream through the, uh, through an ending. Look, this item moves. Excuse me, when I walk around it. Huh, these statues look uncomfortably realistic. This one even looks like it could be my mom. I don't think I have time to unpack that thought right now. Seems they found a bug and fixed it, so there we are. Okay, well, good enough. Cyclone! Glad they're at least supporting it. I'm gonna be honest, it's not what people expected from it, and I don't blame the game... F I, I don't blame the devs or the fans for it not doing well. It's good, but it's it's not, like... it's. It, I, I just don't think it's what people wanted out of it. I had no idea people have been waiting for Survive for four years. Yes, that thing was announced way back when the Switch was, like, first, first came out. And people were like, because it looked like a post-apocalyptic, like, Digimon game. And instead they're just doing the, oh, we went to a different world scenario again. And it's like, okay. Huh, this looks different. New entry, Cordelia, personal. 
Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the Ocean Dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together after all. Magister, how goes the research? I have perused numerous texts about the war, but none Perusa, of them mention about Murga that we do not already know. Got some news on that front. I just found a personal audio log from someone named Cordelia, and she was talking about Murga. Cordelia? Princess Cordelia? Hmm. What did she say? She said that Murga was a champion of some kind. I see. I will look into the matter. You must focus on the imminent threat of Bakanawa. Magister, I think... No. I know where to find more clues about Murga. Truly? Does it not seem odd that you, of all people, stumbled upon this audio log? Maybe I just got lucky. Or maybe someone is out to entrap you. Like Murga. Let us not forget her previous attempt to coerce you. Got a time capsule, nice. So apparently that's the only one that's not in the Battle Sphere. The rest of them you get from the Battle Sphere challenges. And if I'm not mistaken, this, those are what you need to get the true ending. So, might be going back to the Battle Sphere after all. Initializing. Oh look, all the... So I, yeah, I've seen these two already. Kingdom Stone, Lord Brevin. So I guess there's 13 to get in total. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Avalis Day. Magister looks anime-esque. He's an Earth Dragon. After years, the restoration of Bakunawa is almost complete. Just in time for the anniversary of our landing on this planet. Avalis Day. Thinking about how far we've come makes me so proud to be an Earth Dragon. When we first crash-landed here, the natives didn't even have a name for this planet, much less the tools and technology to properly explore and utilize its resources. Now look at us. We have proper cities alight with modern conveniences, medicines, and technological advancements for all. We've even put those ocean dwellers to work on Bakunawa, lifting them out of their primitive tribal ways. Avalis Day will be a grand celebration. Sounds more like uh, enslavement to me. Before we arrived, the local animals just refer to this planet as... And one of them even said... Uh, we've seen this one already, but... This is our final message. Actually, no. Yeah. Oh, I just... Can you not even skip the text? Like, just this a line by line? No. Our... You can't. Bakunawa abandoned. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Bakunawa. Yep, the Earth Dragons are colonizers. Something went wrong. We think it was an accident. I really don't know what to believe. The Bakunawa Restoration Project has been shut down. The Ocean Dwellers are angry. All of them. Perlis is gone, and so have all our other Ocean Dweller servants. When I asked Father where they went, he insisted that they'd taken time off to celebrate some kind of holiday. He wouldn't look at me when he told me that. When I asked about what happened with Bakunawa, he told me to mind my own business, still refusing to look at me. Something truly terrible today. End entry. This is the one I think we just New saw. Entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from yeah. Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. 
I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous dissent... Okay, so Murga was created. I, I missed that the first time I was listening to that. It's, it's interesting that this goes all the way up to, like, the beginning of the plot of the first game. Three years have passed since the invasion that almost destroyed our world of Avalis. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, had planned to steal the Kingdom Stone source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our alien attackers. But the scars of war remain. The Kingdom Stone has been shattered, its fragments scattered into the very air around us. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still, striking us at our most vulnerable. Leaving us in a perpetual state Okay, so I missed that. So these robots, most of these robots are still from that time. Needs hope. But more than that, it needs heroes. Alright, and I could listen to them here. Before, I had to use the robot. Ooh, oh, that's nice. That's not glitchy at all. So let's see. So we talked about Mega Man. I'm, look, I'm excited we're getting... The, why is the camera bugging out? I'm excited we're getting the Battle Network collection. Um, I, I hope that maybe they'll rethink the, the no cross play thing. But if they don't, they don't. I'm going to be content with just playing it on Switch. What I'm not looking forward to is replaying every game to get every chip. I'm hoping there's just maybe like an option to like have everything and just play PvP. That would be pretty cool. Kumasta, welcome to Goldies. Our specials today are Gin Pom P and Wang Wang. If you don't know what those are, you're probably not old enough to be in here. Our military is only five soldiers, but they're all we need. Sergeant Guy once blew up a Sky Pirate airship after they stepped on his Ube Garden. Captain Arnold did the same thing when they sent reinforcements. Long time no Wait, was I already standing down there? Long time no see. Long time no see. Was Lilac sprite like already loaded? Are we done? <laughs> yep. Anyway, lower your hackles. Your channel is secure. I just got the codec frequency off my brother. I guess Dale heard about the attack, huh? Yeah. And he's doing everything he can to avoid an all-out war with an ancient water dragon. In the meantime, I'm just doing my part to save the world. We do not conduct business with career criminals. Yeah, and saving the world doesn't really line up with your usual interests. Look, it was either this or helping Mayor Zhao find his champion. And you know me, I like my jobs dangerous. Besides, I've got intel that I think you'll want to know. Furry Kamita wannabe. Hmm. Let's do it for Carol. What kind of intel? Secret tunnels, strange beacons, the works. These islands are crawling with them. And our newly elected leader of Shang Tu is using them for her plans. Ah! Is that a volcano? I only see smoke, which is good. Hot melty lava would be bad. Secret tunnel. Exactly <laughs> Secret spot, tunnel. Huh? Oh, it's a hot spot, all right. Those volcanoes should be dormant. Plus, a bunch of robots have moved into the region, and they are definitely not friendly. Robots. Sounds like that monkey's friends. We will find out monkey? what these extremists are planning. Monkey? Crush Wait, them what monkey? Source. Perhaps Professor, lava, hot. But don't expect us lava, indeed hot. It. No, it's Relax. fire, indeed hot. What is it? Big bro's the one foot in the bill. Uh oh. These are the leads I've dug up so far. Then this diner will act as our headquarters for the interim. We can talk battle strategies over Olympia. Right. Let's move out. Lilac Sprite was definitely loaded in down here as I was walking down the stairs. I saw it. <laughs> this is treated as a, sur a curved surface. Look. Like it's... You just automatically run down it. Hi, welcome to El Laboratory de Mila Mark II. Lisa set me up with a lab right here at Goldie's. Isn't that neat? She even let me go to the bar for some extra ingredients. Just as long as we have the gold gems. Cover life petals when reviving. Super feather increases your jumping power. Accelerator increases your maximum running speed on flat ground. Increases the number of hits that elemental shields can absorb. 
Strong revivals might help me. I think I might need that for boss fights. That's a potion, though. So I'm gonna have to, like, balance that between the refilling health. I do not trust Spade, but as long as King Dale vouches for him, I will accept his help. That said, I have not been able to get in direct contact with His Majesty. It appears that Shui Gong is preparing to bulwark its defenses, both its walls and floors. Long time no see. <laughs> Still got it, Spade. I am cool and suave personified. Oh yeah. How long were you listening? Anyway, leads. We should be following up on those leads. Pick one. Go away now. The other two aren't playable in this version. Uh, no. Oh, there's another floor there. This is weird. The physics here are weird. No, um... Everyone here except Spade is playable. And then Carol's here as well. I don't know where Carol is right now. But she's somewhere else in her story. I guess we're done here. Oh, we have... Oh, we're back. Okay. So we're, we've got like a whole other half of this game left here still. Uh, Alright. Well, we're definitely not finishing it tonight, which is good, because it's not in the mood to do extra stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start with the three-star. Robot Wars Snake versus Tarsier. Zulan jungle. A massive fight is happening in the jungle nearby. Safe bet it's Carol doing her Carol thing. If it is, I'll snip her out. Retrieve her safely, but do not forget what she has done. Cyclone. Game definitely is a lot more expansive than the first one. If we've got three whole storylines to do now. I'm assuming the, the true ending is, or, well, the end game is going to be after that. What is this? Oh. Cyclone. I gotta go, I gotta go fast. The, um, I said this last time, the stage music in this game is really good, but the boss themes are kind of eh. It's like my only real complaint with this game is the boss theme, uh, the boss music. Of the two we've heard so far, neither of them are really all that great. Can I swing manually? No. Must advance at an increased pace. <laughs> so what did um what what else did I forget to mention? Uh, oh come on, cutscene as I hit the Toki phone thing. Oh god, him again. You can't hide from me, monkey boy. Return the syntax room to me at once, else my overwhelming power will blow your mind into a million pieces. Oh, he's the monkey. Annoying. Just give me the robot. No, ah, ah, it's the monkey here. Yeah. No, your voice is annoying, and I fire my missile. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Okay, cool. So now we've got we've got Murga's people, Brevin's remnants. And whatever the hell Carol's been doing. I was thinking this game is a cross between Sonic and Mega Man ZX. I can kind of see that. Still don't know what this does. There's a chest up there. I need it.
say the biggest improvement to uh, Lilac in this game is the fact that her Cyclone does not use special. Since it was still limited to one, uh, one use per jump anyway. This enemy spam. Still more bearable than Freedom Planet ones, though. They Freedom Planet one when you were in that ice area at the end, that enemy spam got pretty bad. Oh, it's this thing again. Why is this here? beating that either. Cyclone. This fighting can work to our advantage. If we surreptitiously aid Serpentine in his attack, we can strike a crucial blow to Murga's forces. Better we face someone we've decisively beaten in the past. This is our chance to turn the tide of war. No! He'll, he'll be a danger to the environment! Look at what he's done to the forest! Are you expecting me to sympathize with the freedom when the freedom of Shang 2 is at stake? Ladies! I don't like the idea of either of them having a syntax. We saw firsthand how dangerous it is. Let's focus on getting it back first. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so last thing Capcom talked about today was Street Fighter VI, and man, let me tell you, I've never been excited, or I even interested in Street Fighter before. Six, you know, ladies, Six is, is probably the most compelling fighting game I've ever seen, in terms of, like, just the sheer amount of stuff you could do in it. I, for one, really like the whole concept of the open world, like, hub game, custom character, the fact that you could just go up to other people... And, and street fight them and have other people watch. Like, I'm wondering if, like, people can... Like, if that's online and people can actually watch you do that. Because that'd be pretty cool. That's like that's like Final Fantasy XIV. The stuff like that. The character creator also looks very robust. You got... You got triangles for... For... Body... Body shape and muscle tone. So you could finally make the, the muscle gut of your dreams. You can play classic Capcom arcade games in like the hub area. There's like leaderboards for it in the game, so it's like literally like like an arcade within the game. Um, the it wasn't talked about this this presentation, but the um, the easy mode where you could kind of just play it like a Smash Brothers game. Uh, that's, that's gonna be super nice. It's gonna be very helpful for newcomers to the series. We're gonna be able to just execute special moves with, um, with, uh, B and, like, a direction movement. It just overall seems very fun. The, the fighting looks really good. Jury trailer made you happy. Hey, Magus. Like, that's the thing, again, I, I've, I've, I've only... The only Street Fighter game I own is the DS, the 3DS version of 4, for some reason, because it was on sale, and I've played it for all of maybe, like, 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah, Street Fighter 6 is just looking very, very good, and I may have to play it, if anything, just for the single-player content, even if I'm not good at fighting games. Yeah. Never too late to learn. Um, I just I don't have the hand-eye coordination for it. I can, I know how fighting games work, and I know how I would know how to play them. I just am incapable of actually mastering them. I can barely play Smash Brothers, <laughs> and that that that's probably the most lenient uh, beat 'em up out there.
But yeah, lots of fun stuff in Street Fighter 6. I'm looking forward to it. Which again, is something I never thought I'd say about a Street Fighter game. I, I never thought I would ever have be interested in a Street Fighter, but here we are. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm not doing too good on health. Doing really bad on health. Fuck! Oh no, that's the first time I've lost a life in a stage. Gotta keep moving. I better start getting crystals. About halfway to another life. Oh, why didn't I just pick go back to checkpoint? I'm a moron. At least Ken's story in the game feels less insulting, yeah. So that so that big rumor about Ken apparently being um going through a divorce was not true. Um He's being framed for uh, some sort of, like, international conspiracy or, or some sort of, uh, like, terrorist plot. So he's in hiding in order to uh, clear his name and, if, and to protect his family. Which is way, way better than, than what someone originally thought. The original leaker said that he was going through a divorce. Which, don't get me wrong, like... Street Fighter can be pretty campy. That seems like a story that wouldn't necessarily be out of place in a Street Fighter game, but... To Ken of all people? Nah. One of Ken's like defining characteristics is that he's in a happy, loving relationship. Framed, that was the word, yeah. But yeah, I mean, Capcom, again, as I said at the beginning, Capcom, their their output has been very much less frequent than previous years, but w the stuff they put out is really good. They definitely are focusing on quality over quantity at this point. And honestly, Battle Network Collection alone is, is proof of that. Just the amount of TLC they're putting into that, uh... Into that game. Oh god, why, why are you attacking me? You can run, but you can't hide. I mean, the setting is Metro City. Having a criminal organization gunning for him sounds more believable, yeah. <laughs> I'm invincible. Oh, you can't... you can't dodge that. I don't think the game intends for you to fight everyone here. Block this overhead. Seriously, come on. Just having that my boss Shingo is gonna be in King of Fighters 15. KOF. Oh, it's this thing again. Do I seriously have to deal with Serpentine's attacks while this is happening? This DLC, but yeah, nice. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of health. Seems to be going down pretty quickly. But. Oh, I have to hit the bomb when- okay, I see. It's kind of weird.
Just the blades on this ship don't hurt. I find it funny that even if you get more lives, you're still penalized by how many you lost. Nalau Lake. Wow, this area is pretty damn big. Oh, I already have the, the disc for this one, too. Here too? It's like well, it's like a jungle in here. Hey, get away from her! She's mine! Oh, but she's very dangerous. You should let us big sisters take care of her. No! She's the heart of my latest greatest buddy yet! The BFF 3000! With her as the conduit, all three combiners can be operated by a single pilot! Maximum action, maximum firepower, maximum! I get the feeling we're about to find out. Great. Hello, General Ah, uh, hey, Braden. So kind of you to fix my throne for me, monkey boy. Hey! No fair cheating, you cheater! I am not cheating! I'm just smarter than you. And now nothing will stop me from... As I would say... Nothing will stop me from- Now, You'll be sorry when Murga shows up! We're gonna wake up Bakunawa, and she's gonna take me to outer space! Is she gonna try to destroy the planet? Ha! <laughs> Looks like we've got a junior astronaut here! Wait, why would she? The water dragons lived on here first. The great and generously giving Lord Brevin is always looking for new recruits! Don't listen to him. His offers are steeped in lies and deceit. And you, dog! I repeat my offer! Or would you rather your friends learn the truth? What truth? That you're a miserable snake? Join me, little one! And you may yet live to see your parents! Like this guy's so voice, it's pretty good. you're not only a cheat, but a liar, too! Brevin sure knows how to pick him. Fine! Then witness the power of a fully operational syntax! Initiate code black! As you wish, sir. In light of our mutually assured destruction, I believe a truce is in order. Okay, we're, we're in it now. I don't think these are real people. See, this is what I like to see. Big looping. Big loops. Water running. Yeah, I think that, uh, you're not really supposed to fight all the enemies you see around here. <laughs> I think that'd be a fool's errand. Yeah. Oh. Oh. shit in the water. Question. Okay. Answer. 
Daily double. Oh, I I meant to fall. I got stuck to the wall. What is happening? If she's a water dragon, why does she have an air meter? Doesn't mean she can breathe underwater. She just, uh... I don't know. Yeah, these things don't even drop anything. There's no point in fighting them. Target maybe? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Did you, did you see that? <laughs> that was a good glitch. Huh. I feel like more than one of these terminals. Doing too well, I'm about to bite it. spikes and we just did it again there Cyclone. 
Uh, alright. That's interesting. Begging for a map, yeah. A piece over there. Really nice if there was like a health refill anywhere. Shit, 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 shit. All right. Well, and no, no, oh cool, another piece is stuck. All right, nice. So I gotta go do this again. All right. Out of my life, it's fine. Cyclone. Yeah, she's designed more for zooming past things than fighting. In a way. Not be serious. That song and dance routine is required for this thing to function. Get out of my sight, eyesore! I'm fucking invincible. Yeah. Activate. Cut yourself shaving, Jack. Do I play this thing? Yes, I do. Sure, so it boost up a bit though. Now we know why the stage is so big, yeah. Metal Gear Rabbit. Hey, lie. Ow, what happened? How do I... Okay. It's, it's clunky. It's very clunky. I can't, uh... Here we go. Alright, smash that. Okay, at least I'm back up on lives now.
Oh, there we go. Planet's thesis. One second. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't have the freaking window up. Silly, silly me. whole lot of uh, maneuverability here. Oh, these are some Toho-ass uh, hitboxes. Broken, yeah. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't do anything. Thruster's broken. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> and now what's yours is mine! Huh? Where did my playmates go? Guys? Kidnapping Mayor Zhao and having a hand in Shang Tu's downfall, not also a little mean. I'm just glad that's over with. Lilac, about what Serpentine said. It's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I'd trust you over Snake Man any day of the week. And when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Now, let's go find Carol. Okay! Serpentine turned uh, Mila into a monster at the end of the first game. You don't seem all that hung up about Carol. Carol's... Carol, I guess. Still has to do things her way. She hasn't changed at all. Not in the way you did, right? What's that supposed to mean? Just saying... Your art style is so different now. ...friends for not growing up as fast as you. Oh yeah, like you gave me a choice. And you're still holding on to that. You stole me from my family before I was even hatched. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. Listen, I was a kid. A kid who needed to get in good with the scarves. I'm sorry that I picked your egg, but that's how it was. We're lucky that I even found my way back. Lucky? Lucky that I never got to know my parents? Lucky that I discovered I was a living trophy? They wanted the egg for the pool room. It was luck, it was good that they didn't mind when you hatched. Things could have gone a whole lot worse. I have a criminal record from being raised by a bunch of thieves, Spade. I lived in the woods because my wanted posters were everywhere. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry that your life didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. I made some bad decisions, brought you along for the ride, and now we're here, okay? It's not okay. And I'm sorry about that, too. 
This is why we don't talk. I don't remember that plot point in the first game. I'm sure it must have come up at some point. Unless that was the first time we heard of it. Cyclone. Funny thing is, I played this game in 2016. That was actually before I knew who, I knew who Sean was. So it was just a coincidence that uh that uh things turned out the way they did. Reports of giant robots in the vicinity are false. Lies designed to ruin your perfect Perusian holiday experience. Guar. Please continue to enjoy your stay, knowing that you are safe from being crushed underfoot by giant mechanical monstrosities. Liar! I know what to do when there's a forest fire. Just stop, drop, and roll. Or was that bulk interruptions? Cyclone. Your skills are most formidable, Kai Begin. Taking down one giant robot followed by stealing another? Impressive. I was not expecting to encounter nearly the number of explosions that I did today. Very exhilarating. Look, ever since we got invaded by an alien warmonger from space, things have been weird, but never giant robots weird. And that was when General... I mean, that was, was that General Serpentine out there? I thought we drove him off this planet along with his boss. I thought we killed him. You know what the biggest weakness of giant robots is? Broadswords! Both in terms of them getting sliced up like butter, and also they don't use broadswords themselves. On October 2nd, you find out if your runs get accepted into a marathon. Oh, nice. And you accept, you submitted some Battle Network stuff. Cool. In the stage with an Energizer Sphere. Sure, why not? Giant robots? Reminds me of a Tarsier that I used to follow me around like a tail. Great at building machines, not so great at talking to people. I think he wanted to be friends, but whenever I asked him his name was, he just screamed. Weird kid. Oh, she's talking about Ah. Uh. Kala and I used to study under the same teacher back in the day. He was actually my junior, so he kept shadowing me. Trying to learn from the best, I guess. We thought he was a friend, but after seeing that broadcast, I'm not sure if we ever knew the real Kala. Giant robots in our jungle? Well, given the leftovers from that alien invasion a few years back, chances were high to extremely high. But still. Grabbed the twins for a throwdown, but by the time I got up there, all the action had dried up. Figures. Cyclone. Did you see that throwdown between those giant robots? They nearly stomped my ube. And here I thought getting water and proper sunlight would be my biggest worries. Echoes of the Dragon War, Justice in the Sky, Paradise. Well, these are both four stars, which means we're probably going to get... Which means we're probably still not even close to done with this, because we're probably going to get another set of difficulty missions. Unless it's based on the difficulty setting. On the island is reaching a critical juncture. We have to act immediately, or there won't be a Perusa left. Oh, oh! We can blow a hole in the side of the volcano! Then all that lava will flat flap into the ocean and nobody gets turned into charcoal! Okay, one, you're dark. Two, you want to stop a volcano by blowing it up? She's not wrong. That lava is coming out one way the or logic another, tracks. so we might as well do it in a way that's safe. Well, safe-ish. For this plan to succeed, we must create a powerful explosion. Mila, that explosive color-changing potion of yours. I don't suppose you could create a more potent version. I think so. I just need a few ingredients. Potent potables for 100, I Alex. The island. I'll make a list. Then it looks like we're going on a scavenger hunt. What the? Oh, the, it's like another region. Volcanic region. Wow. This game is freaking huge. Freaking huge, man. That whole area over there we haven't gone to yet either. Not supposed to select potent potables, yeah. You wrote Threve, and you wagered Texas with a dollar sign. Oh right, I can't go back to that town. I guess it, I guess Mila was the only thing in there. Uh, I don't want to spend shit in the gallery. I can't go up to 
the snow region, though, so those items are just locked out. Anal bum cover. Uh, okay, bought all these. There is an achievement for beating any stage with one of these equipped. Well, we're not gonna buy this because I feel like we could just find these in stages. Gold gem exchange. It's so weird. I thought when we, we got to the end of the opera, and I was like, oh, well, we have to uh, we have to redo sections from previous stages here. I thought that was going to be the end of the game. <laughs> I did not think there was going to be way more to this. I need seven more gold gems to get all of these. And then the only things I'll need gold gems for after that are museum restorations. Toby Fox uh, showed off some stuff of upcoming Deltarune content for an uh, Undertale's anniversary. Um, it's certainly Deltarune. Also showed off what a lot of people were thinking. Uh, it's possible the next chapter is going to take place in the, like some sort of TV set. As in, like, show set. Yeah, there's an Undertale pop-up cafe as well. There's also going to be a, a um, Pakistani relief uh, charity event going on with, with spam him related prizes. But yeah, Toby put, gave like an update on the, on the, uh, set, or on the, uh, progress of the game. Um, he said the next release is still gonna be 3 through 5. Right now they're getting mostly through 3 and 4, and 5 hasn't really been worked on, and he's brought more people on the team. Okay, which one of these do I want to get? Piece number hits that elemental shields can absorb maximum running speed on flat ground. That's cool, but I don't think I'd ever use that because it seems less to get me out of trouble and more just to go through stages quicker. Jumping power might be good, but to be honest, I think the shield thing is probably any def any defensive moves are probably better. I can get those other two things later. Ancestral Forge. I'll call Zhao when we're ready. He can help us reach the peak. A full-scale eruption would be disastrous. Safe winds. So I was looking in the, in the museum and I was like, oh, there's only like two more bosses left. But apparently, I was mistaken. This is this is an interesting ball. I like how the thing bounces. Cyclone. I really want to play. Oh, turn it to rock. Uh, I really want to play Splatoon three and playing uh, the new Salmon Run mode. What is that? Oh, it's oil. That new boss in in Salmon Run and Splatoon three is very uh very interesting. I'm thinking about taking on a new project of a Zelda game idea, but. That'd be something of an undertaking. Well, I mean, if there's anything I could do to help, feel free to ask. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. Yeah. Odd lack of uh, music in this stage. I had a feeling that was going to do something. Is that hit damage? Or is this stealth? Is is that gonna make noise and alert people? Oh. Cyclone. Oh, I 
How do you know what Bakunawa looks like? Hello? Can anyone read me? Something here is blocking the signal. Oh wait, what? Where did I hold on? Okay, so if I have a key on hand, I can I can't go do I can go do those. If I don't, I can't go do them. Oh, this is weird. Again, I could definitely see shades of stages from the first game, but there's also so many stages in this game that most of them are doing their own thing. Which is really nice. Yeah, this is like a, a, ma a maze level. You know what had an awful maze? The end of uh, the end of subspace emissary and smash brawl, because the thing is, that game that game was pretty fun. The problem I have with it is that you had to do the entire game over again at the end in that maze. I feel like if the game was just the maze but bigger, it would have been more fun. If it was just the Metroidvania. Heat meter. Okay, didn't... Why is that a thing? It's too hot! I can't take it anymore! They put the key at the end, like right where the lock is. Uh, of course, of course, you did that. But you didn't anticipate there was a key right here. <laughs> Jangly bones. Checkpoint. Oh, okay, so this is a, a lock and unlock area. Shrimp tail? Really? Fried shrimp? Tell me, a shrimp fried this rice? Stage song is a bop, though, yeah. This series in general is really good music. The first game's soundtrack is excellent, too. Again, the only, the only real complaint I have is that the boss themes in this game aren't super great. They're way more relaxed than the first game's boss themes. At least some of them. I think Murga's uh, battle theme from the last stream was, was pretty good. I can't remember it, though. Hmm. Oh. There's already a thing there. 
Oh, I see. These are to prevent me from cheaping the stage out. They're impact absorbers. That's what that effect coming out of it is. Yeah, it's, it's gonna stop me from getting up there early. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, um, kind of contemplating how streams are gonna go. Can I take that one out? No, I can't. Kind of contemplating how streams are gonna go in the near future. I actually don't have a ton, uh, planned for October yet. November's kind of when all the big stuff starts dropping, but I, I definitely have stuff I can play before then. Cyclone. I just don't know what exactly. I might finally go back and revisit some of the games I've been waiting to finish. Oh, whoops. But I don't know. I, again, it's like... It's only real if I could get the time to stream. There's definitely going to be a few weekends in, in uh, October where I'm not going to be here. I think um, weekend of the 15th I won't be here, and the last weekend I won't be here. Why is the camera so weird? Okay, here we go. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do regarding streaming. I mean, I'm also, I was also, wait, where'd this come from? Where, where did this key come from? I didn't have this before, did I? Like, I saw this thing move. I see there's a path each one follows. It's a whole area of these, uh, gravity changes. It's the stage from X8 all over again. Oh god, that's kind of terrifying. Get you anything? No. Cyclone. 
Nice. Ah, oh, there's stuff down there. Well, whatever. Missed it. Okay, there's still a door left. Oh god, there's enemies here now. Maybe a key so oh here it is. Oh, I don't know where to bring this to. I gotta get down there somehow. That's closed off, though. So is this here. Oh, these things are infinitely spawning. Okay. interesting. Getting shades of uh, Blaster Master 0, 2, and 3 here. Activate that. There's some squares down here. Pulling this. Oh, it's got. That's a gold gem. Okay. Beautiful. Saves me a thousand crystals or 20 uh, enemy cores that I have to grind. Blocks. something here? No, I didn't. Cyclone. 
up, up and away. Oh, you can cyclone underwater. I don't know how, but I did. In case you need to go back somewhere. Cyclone. Cyclone. Okay, I don't touch that. Oh, I can't leave if I put that there. Hmm. Big hmm. Put 
this one here, and we could go down here. But we need another key. Mm hmm. I've been in the stage for 22 minutes. Oh wait, I could probably pull this out of here now, and put it up here. But at what cost? See what you're saying? Picking up what you're putting down here. Cyclone! Ah, now this is open because the bottom is all jaggedy. Could have used that health. This is fair. Oh, oh I all right. Let's go back to the checkpoint and try again. Dang, dude. Come on, man. Wow, I'm really, really eating ass here, huh? Oh, 
gonna say like it's either gonna be bad or really bad or oh, it's done thankfully it's done wow, i lost two lives and that ganked my entire uh 50 bonus magma star see like that stage i can imagine just buying the disc for and not redoing the entire thing just to get it I don't even need to pay for this one because I already got it. Magma Starscape. So that's interesting. So you could just pay 300 crystals to get it. So I guess it's... I guess that's honestly better than redoing the stage just to get it. But I guess the item you still have to get if there is one. Since when did I become everyone's personal taxi service? You said we could call you if we needed a ride. Correction. You said you'd call me if you needed a ride. I just sailed away. Um, how's the hunt for a battle spirit champion going? <sighs> it takes a certain je ne sais quoi to become the battle spirit champion. Someone strong, swift, mysterious, with the force of a great. Seguro! Everyone, battle stations! Battle stations? This is Mayor Zhao's luxurious sky palace. Not Mayor Zhao's threat, not Marauder! What happened to all the cannons? Where else was I going to put the hot springs? Jump! You put the hot springs at the my edge of the ship? Sky my ship! My ship! Because that's where all the cannons were. They were on the edges. Is everyone alright? I'm okay. The chemical reagents I'm carrying are fine too. No explodey. Zhao, come in. How's. How is Mayor Zhao's luxurious sky palace? <laughs> Zhao! <laughs> He's fine. All right, ladies, let's go. We got ourselves a volcano to blow up. Cool. Why is that dude not dead yet? I don't know. He's a good guy, he's not gonna die. Oh, okay. Okay, rumbles on the ground are bad. It's not automated. You don't get up there automatically. There's a thing to hold on to, and it gets me hurt.
Beautiful. Gets the part with these hinder my progress. Game design. I'm hitting my shield there. Oh, uh oh. Cool. That sent all the way back to the beginning for that blunder. Jesus. Don't think I could fight those. Decent poke. Oh, my heat meter's on. My heat meter was almost hitting uh, critical there. Oh no! Wait, what?
Oh, okay, alright. Return to Drillman EXE here. Good lord, this one is annoying, huh? Alright. Okay, no warning on that one. Oh, this is pain. Ah, fuck, what did I just do? I put my hand down and I, and I, I like, pushed my fingernail into the desk. Health because of the Peter. Come on, really? You're gonna throw that much shit at me in this stage? Oh, I need the I need the shield. I need the shield. Cyclone. I I need the shield. Oh my god, you need the shield. You actually can't do this without the shield. You just you go to a, I, th There's no way to keep your heat meter low. God, this is terrible. I feel like I, yeah, this, this is undoable for me. This is the the skill limit here. Too much of a barrage. Too much too much of a big shit barrage here for me to focus. Grab it. Cyclone. Couldn't do it. No, nope, just stop rising, please. It's like actually go off the screen to like heal it. I'm I'm bam 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 Oh wait, do I just have to be here? That's it. Now I get it. But unfortunately, I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna be uh, coming out of this one alive here. Yeah, I fucked up.
Uh, increases your jumping power. Let's get that. Super feather. Yeah, why not? Let's get the last item in her shop. All done. Energizer Sphere. I'm guessing that doesn't really do anything for, li for Lilac. That's probably for Carol, right? I forgot I had Elemental Burst, but I'm not really using it. Carol sells stuff I already have. Or Chloe. Carol's the, Carol's the cat. Oh no, she has something new now. Payback ring. Your attack power increases when you have no stock left. Oh wait, that was there before. Alright, so I need two more to get her last item. Anything from the from there? Go from there. Got all that. Just more music. And that's the gold gem exchange. Okay. All right. I'm not going to continue any more levels, but I'm still going to go for another 14 minutes or so. So I'll do some of the uh, arena battles. Army One, can you survive the Battle Bot Battle Royale without any of your buddies to help you? Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna have to set items, because I don't think you get a lot of gems for doing this. Max life up. Shadow Guard. Let's go with that. This one doesn't have a reward, like a item reward, though. Whatever, we'll do it. Round one of eight. Wow, there's no penalty for doing that either. You just make the shadow clone. Only last about two seconds, though. Wonder, hold on. Oh, you can. Shadow clone can uh can uh do the the, the rush move, but I don't think it's gonna do much extra damage because it's whatever. Uh, God. Okay. It's time for you guys to stop. My 
stones! We have a new record! Oh, you do get gems for it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, to be honest, I'm not getting that much of a penalty by using items. The item set spread I have is only taking away half of that, so I'm still getting plus 75% uh, percent bonus. Flip fire gauntlet. Hop to this flipping platform and fiery pits in this platforming challenge. Okay. Star Cream. How'd you get that many emotes? Did you sub to a bunch of people? Gift sub. Oh, nice. What, do you seek out all the streamers that have butt emotes? Appreciate the booty. Mondo Condo. So many rooms. Hop through each mini gauntlet as fast as you can. Cyclone. I don't need to fight the enemies. I just have to get through the rooms. Burr butt emote? Maybe. Hello? Uh. What? Stop! What are you doing? Why is it, like, not letting me go through this one? Grab onto it twice. It's not super intuitive at times.
Good enough. Birds of Prey, take on Trigger Joy and Lancer at the same time. This challenge is not for beginners. Cyclone. Oh, it's both of the it's both of them. Two of them. That's how it works. I don't think I get two tries just because there are two of them. Back out. Oh no! Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. All right. Piece of shit hitboxes. Annoyed that I wasted my time. This fucking move. What is this move? What is this 
this garbage move? Alright. Hitboxes, Jesus, McChrist on the cross. Minimal frustration because that didn't take too long. That being said, it is after two and a half hours now. Still eight of these left. Hop into a beast mech and take on all comers. Oh, that's another one of those. Stop and go. Go fast, but not too fast. You might run into explosions. General Serpentine's fourth sub come to play. Show them who's boss and team up with Pangu to stop Syntax. Boosters everywhere. Fling yourself around at high speed to defeat an army of Zao land robots. Love when the burp says new record, yeah. Igor indeed hot. Battlebot revenge. Alright, it's only gonna get harder. I, I dare to ask what this one is. That's 2,000 at the very end. It doesn't look like the boss battles. Also, there's a boss fight I actually haven't fought here. Acrobell. Lemon bread. Yeah, Acrobell and lemon bread are new. Well, I, don't, I don't know what the hell that is, but we will not find out tonight. Lemon bread. That name sounds very familiar. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop here. I know it's, well, it's almost the normal time for me to stop, but I also know I started late today and it only went for two and a half hours. Um, I'm, I gotta stop though, because I have to wake up early tomorrow. Um, hopefully, when I wake up, I will be getting certain things in my life taken care of and will be a, will, will improve myself as a result. Again, it's, it's not worth going into too much detail, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Um, I will be back tomorrow night with Digimon Survive. Finally, after putting it off for so long. Um, I may do another stream this weekend, I'm not sure. Like, I may do a stream on Saturday. Because I don't really have much planned for this weekend. And I'd rather use the time to kind of like make progress on stuff that I want to get through rather than uh, sit around and do nothing and say, well, it's my day off. It's like, eh. So we'll see. I might be around in the afternoon like I was on Tuesday. I don't know yet. So yeah, if you want to watch more streams, uh, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. Uh, auto host is going away, so we can't do that. I don't know. Again, God, I gotta stop. I gotta stop because I'm stuttering now. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and we'll do more of this probably Sunday or, I don't know, maybe sooner. We'll see. All I know is that this is, this is way longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a good night.
bong, 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 b